Frank was a joy to work with. He kept overacting, overacting, overacting. So we have to work on it a good bit. But there were small moments when I'd see Frank not acting. And I was like, there, you've got it. Because he knew what I was talking about when I was saying to him. Look, then because I play it back to him. Like, we keep playing things back to him all the time. I keep playing things back to him. Play the, the, the video back to him all the time. The movie back to him. I said, look, look at what you're doing here right now. You had it perfect until there. You were doing really, really good there. You're holding, you're holding the character because the character really is you. That simplicity is you. That, that just, just someone who is just. I used to call him just. The, I used to call him the peasant all the time. Just like you know, someone who is just a really like a useless, pathetic, no good, useless peasant. <laughs> right. But it basically just means someone who is just has a simplicity about them that they kept. And Frank has that. So when I'd show him the stuff on the monitor afterwards, he'd get it and he'd listen and he'd try stuff. And then he, even when he was doing the mistakes, he'd go, ah, oh, he'd stop and go, ah, oh, I keep doing it, I keep doing it. So now I want to show you the clip of the film. It's about 50 seconds. Show you the clip and afterwards we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. But when you're watching the clip, look at Frank, how he holds character, how he holds his facial expression in the correct way. He has something about him. I'm really happy with the peasant performance more than anyone else's in the whole film. And I used to say to Frank when we were rehearsing, I said, I bet you, even though we haven't started filming yet, I bet you any money, any money that you would be the best thing in the film. Did you see him holding his countenance good? Did you see the expression on his face? It's not that easy to do that. We had to work for a long time to get to home Frank's performance so he did he was not acting. There's so much acting in movies and it is annoying. So when you look at people on the screen and they're there giving everything in the wrong way and they're not doing doing themselves any service because they're overdoing stuff. If you look at, at the films of Russell Crowe, you'll see how you can be do very little by doing, doing a hell of a lot by doing very little. So Frank, I was trying to get that into Frank's modem. I was trying to get it very much into, and everyone that was working in the film. Now Barry Kinslow was a different story because I didn't hardly work with him too much at all. So when he got here on set, and he's been working for a long time, and he'd done a really good job on The Man Who Died. It was a very kind of like uh, distant, discontinued look from him through the whole, through, through the parts that he was in, which I was really happy with. Okay, so to go back to Frank, to hold that countenance, to, ha to, have, to not act and just react in the right way and get the right expressions, he'd keep going in and out of it. Keep going in and out of it, keep going in and out of it. So we worked on it a good bit. But in the end, he was really starting to get it. He was really starting to get it. And then when I was putting the film together, now this is like towards the end of the film. So let's just say like at the start of the film, there's the chase with the rooster. He's chasing through the rooster as the man's waking up in the tomb. and Even all that, you have to act or not act. I always used to say, like, don't act. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Forget about the camera. Forget about this. Remember, just hold in your head something secret that is to do with you and the peasant. Okay? That the, the rooster is, you're so poor and, you're, and you don't want to lose anything that you've got because you've got so little as it is. The rooster is something that you have to get back because you don't want to lose anything because you have so little and you have to work so hard for everything every little tiny bit that you've got so frank was great at all that he was really superb his character in the film was really just like to be between a rock and a hard place the rooster and the man who died 
in the short film version have sort of like kind of like um, a pulling towards they're not pulling in a variance they're pulling towards each other so the rooster in some way he doesn't know it is drawn towards the tomb the man is waking up in the tomb so the peasant is stumbled into a point of history to do with the, the most famous man in the world which is jesus christ whether you believe the story or not i don't know to be honest but i'm not really that interested in religion but either way okay but the man aspect of it is interesting so he's like a rock between a rock and a hard place and he he has to just deal with with this just and he was just trying to get his rooster back so they have that simplicity of the man caught in between history he done such a good job in the film and he never acted before ever and he was the best thing in my opinion the best thing in the film he was absolutely brilliant in it really really good and they're the parts that i like the, the best in the whole film when he's on screen for me it's the best it's the best the most enjoyable parts of the film for me are, are when frank is on screen because it's very much like the book